Hello everyone, this is Mike and this is number 20 in the SDR Uno series of videos. This is possibly going to be the last SDR Uno video uh, that I do before we move on to the other front ends of HDSDR, Cubic, and SDR Console version 2 and version 3. In this video I'm going to show you VRX as a virtual receiver and SDR Uno will allow you to have uh, multiple receive slices uh, basically defined by your IF bandwidth. So if you're running two megahertz, anywhere up and down the full spectrum that, that you can receive on the RSP one or two, you can have multiple receives, uh, VFOs. I'm going to launch SDR Uno and I'm gonna show you uh, how I would configure it. I don't really use VRX that much. I'm a shortwave listener, uh, as you guys know. So zero through 30 is, is my band of interest, but you might wanna use this. And what you would use it for if you're decoding uh, ALE stations, if you want to listen to multiple HFDL stations decoding, if you want uh, voice on one VRX and you want to pipe data uh, into another one, uh, you can do that. The maximum number of VRXs is, just bear with me, I'm going to max these out just to show you. maximum number of VRXs is 16 so you can have up to 16 different receives uh, within the IF bandwidth which is right here so if we have 5 megahertz selected we can have up to 16 different stations that we can listen to let's delete these and we'll start from scratch Okay, the first thing you want to do is select a blank workspace. So I'll select workspace number two. And before you click play, you have the option to add a VRX or delete the VRX. So we'll add one. It's active when it turns green. You have to click it. If you want to delete it, make sure it's red. You would click it one time, make it red, and then you can delete it. So right now it's active. You have uh, configurations for uh, the SP1, the SP2, the RX, the EX control, the RDS window. So we will select the SP1 window. Now in the first video I did, we configured SDR Uno. So you might want to watch the uh, number one video that goes over all the configurations. I'm not going to configure this. I'm just going to run it stock, but we'll try to make it look somewhat uh, easy on the screen just as far as real estate goes. Okay, so we have two main SP windows. VRX0, VRX1, main SP0, which is this first VRX, the master, and VRX1, right here, VRX1, main SP. Everything is slaved to VRX0. So when you're tuning around, the other VRX are gonna go with it unless you lock the LO. So we have the main SP. So now we have to have the SP2 window, which is the aux SP for both VRXs, zero and zero. And we'll do the same for VRX number two. Now the RX control. Now, as I said, we're not gonna make it look uh, super pretty here. We're just gonna make it functional and you can design your workspace wherever you like just remember save your workspace and you'll be fine so let's just name this uh, vrx demo 2. you still want to give yourself some separation between the tune and the lo because vrx zero the main receiver is the master all additional vrx's are the slave so we will give ourselves some separation between the tune and the LO. Each one of these uh, windows has a, an independent configuration. So you can change the uh, waterfall palette on, on VRX0, uh, uh, different from VRX1. You can change the options between the AUX SP, uh, between 0 and 1. The outputs from the RX control between 0 and 1. Everything can be configured. So. Uh, just watch video number one, get your, your setup the way you want it, save your workspace, and then in the future, you could just pull it right back up. So if I save this VRX uh, workspace, 
So if I want to go back to my default, I just click and it's right there. And here is one for uh, the, the VRX demo. So you can, you can go between the two with no problem at all. All right, so let's begin. Each one of these VRXs, as I said, has independent control. So independent mute, you can mute the two. Uh, you can change the settings of the output. So I can have one VRX, which would be zero, showing you right here, RX setting zero, zero, or RX setting zero, zero, uh, zero, one. As I said, each one is independent. So let's unmute this and let's see if we can find some transmissions and we'll listen to both at the same time. Now, as I said, VRX0 is the master VRX. So as I'm changing this here, the secondary one, 01, is going to follow. All right, we're at 5 megahertz of bandwidth. We can put it at 2. And let's see what's going on here. All right. And let's listen to a secondary here. So right now we have two transmissions that we're listening to at the same time. Uh, that's defined by the bandwidth. So if I want to... Uh, uh, a bigger spread of 5 megahertz, just select 5, oh, and I can tune within 5 megahertz. If we add a third VRX, make it green, we can do 3. Uh, as I said, I believe the maximum is is 15. And that's basically it for VRXs. So if you want to decode AL signals, uh, you know that are further apart if you want to do hfdl if you want to decode these the stanag 4285 signals if you want to listen to uh, volmets if you want to listen to uh 20 meters and 17 meters 17 and 15 15 and 12 uh 12 and 10 whatever the spreads are uh between what you want to listen to just make sure you give yourself enough bandwidth and if you want to uh tune within just lock the lo Let's, let's not forget that let's do this. Months ago, the world witnessed the rediscovery, so to say. Okay, so the first VRX, let's do this. Oh, we have the third. So let's stop this, let's delete it. The first VRX is uh, zero, 00, the master. So we have that muted, we'll lock the LO. Now when we tune, nothing it will it will stay within. So it's it's a great feature to lock the LO if you want to tune within the five megahertz of bandwidth that's selected for your VRXs. I hope this video wasn't confusing and it was helpful. Uh, as always, leave comments uh, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to answer them. Uh, Seven three everybody and thank you so much for watching. This might be the last SDR Uno video uh, in this series. Unless you guys have any requests or, or want me to cover other things, I'm going to move on to uh, either HDSDR next, SDR Console 2.5, version, you know, version 2.5, version 3, or Cubic. Whichever one you guys want first, let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to cover it. And we'll go from, from soup to nuts, from start to finish, of the same way we do these SDR Uno videos. Uh, thank you again for watching and 7-3. I'll see you guys in the next video.